All right, starting back on this. I am Beak Supreme, and this is for the Beaklebotics YouTube channel. And uh, modding my uh, NES to um, disable the lockout chip, and we're gonna see if this works. And I just broke pin four on there, broke connection on there, and um, where's my power supply? Oh, here it is. And um. Hmm. Now we're going to see if we fuck this up and um, plug up my audio and video. And audio. Ooh. Just think, sing it mine, was it? Okay. Man, I better turn it off. It kind of scares me. And, uh, I've never done this before. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of, uh, exhilarating, I suppose. Right, let's see how well it worked. So much camera life, or battery life we got. This camera, okay, it's good. And it's uh, 1.16 a.m. on November 5th, 2012. Huh. Well, we got the blinking light. We got exactly what I was trying to avoid. But we'll see if we can find out why. Turn the TV off. Let's, uh, maybe it's because this is... Maybe because I got this upside down, you think? Or because, uh, yeah, yeah, because I got it wrong. Yeah, because that's the bottom side of the board. burning yet. There's the broken pin number four on my lockout chip. I almost broke pin number three also. It's still got an electrical connection, but just barely. But I fixed it with some solder. It's fixable. Damn, this thing's tight. There we go. I was wondering how it was supposed to go. Components on here being really tight kind of worry me. It did fit on there pretty good on the other side, but apparently it wasn't working because it didn't give me any room to push the thing down. Yeah, yeah, this is how this goes. Here in here, and we're gonna plug up video. Or I mean, we're gonna plug up power and see if we got a, see if we got any smoking or fire or whatever. I should get a fire extinguisher, but I don't think it will. Okay, now we turn it on. 
hell? Let's get out the flashing light. That sucks ass. And we gotta do something else. Something. Yeah, and you'll see the title of this video, Noggle Fucks Up His Nintendo. Satan how the fucks up Tom's Nintendo. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. All right. Well, it's not fucked up then. Controller works. <laughs> she read LED, he was right. I can put any LED in there. Are you a little punk? Beach on magic monkey, he's alien man. I love his soul all that I can. He's a rifle. Park on a locker. Beaky child, magical alien man. Love is soul all that I can. He's magic blessing monkey kid. I love him like I did, cause he is kid. Big asshole, I'll kill you. Little punk. Little punk. The artwork in this game is really good. Um, you know, Disney's The Rocketeer. Uh, Bandai did really good on this, in the NES version. That's what this is. Now, IGS did the Super Nintendo version, which is based off the original PC game. It's a pretty faithful reproduction, but I didn't really much care for the PC game. I mean, well, it was cool. Well, what, okay, here's the problem. The PC game, and thus the Super Nintendo game, were based heavily upon the comic book. Okay, which is where all this stuff started with the Rocketeer. Now, um, the, um, this game right here, which is the NES version of the Rocketeer, was based very much on the movie. Okay. 
Now, um, the movie was based on the comic book as well. Um, but I do like the movie a whole lot. They immerse you a lot in that Art Deco 1930s. It was done by Joe Johnston. Uh, it was a pretty good movie. Um, I remember the advertisement. Um, for it says that it's got movie magic we don't see anymore. And, uh, because computer-generated movies came following. And the movie The Rocketeer actually debuted, um, around the same time period as Terminator 2. Um, it had to compete against it at the box office. And that's why The Rocketeer didn't do so well. Uh, I think it's a very good movie. I have it on VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray. Uh, here's this fuel tank for the rocket pack. And, uh, yeah, I have the, uh, I have the Rocketeer on Super Nintendo. I got it twice on Nintendo. And then, you know, bought the actual cartridges. And then I have the actual PC game. I bought, uh, you know, a floppy disk back in 1996, I believe it was. Um, so I have every version of the Rocketeer game, and I have the um, Rocketeer movie on every um, home video medium that it was on, except for maybe Laserdisc. I don't have it on, well, I don't have a Laserdisc player, but, um, hmm. I can smell the heat coming off of the voltage regulator. I wonder how hot it's getting. Maybe this is where the heat comes from in the NES. This thing, I mean, it feels hot. I mean, obviously it's not too hot because I can put my hand on it. It's the heat sink for the voltage regulator. Um, it's not too hot because I can put my hand on there and it, it, it feels pretty warm. It's probably one of the main components that generates heat in the uh, NES. And, uh, so anyway, I mean, yeah, and it's got some heat to it, but, I mean, obviously you can hold your finger on it. Now what somebody could do is replace this voltage regulator, obviously, you know, it's got to produce 5 volts, but get one with, like, low dropout voltage, one that's more efficient, basically, one that's newer, and set this one here, and, um, and all it has to do is put out five volts to the board. And this 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 power supply here, well the the wall adapter, puts out nine volts at you know, eight hundred and fifty milliamp, that's more than three quarter amp, just so this thing can do its job because it has to have more voltage coming into it than what it puts out because it's not very efficient. But you know, they've got low dropout They got low dropout uh, voltage regulators that are more efficient that um, only need maybe a half a volt more than what they put out. So like, you know, with one of the newer voltage regulators, you can input just six volts here. And then, th then you won't need as much power wasted and then you won't need as much heat output. You know, I mean, you can maybe get by with 5.5 .5 volts or whatever. I don't know, but like, you know, it's unnecessary heat. Alright, turn off the Nintendo, and, um, I guess this thing, uh, works. Do I see an LED in here somewhere? Or some kind of light? No, it's just copper. Copper wire reflecting out uh, light. But I saw an orange color. Alright, so, um, alright, well, this, uh, this thing works. And, um, <laughs> Tom's Nintendo that I got, you know, yesterday now. Um, I am Beak Supreme, and this is the Beaklebotics YouTube channel, and you see me disable the, well, just to make sure. Let's see how well this works, because I may have...
Well, the light is flashing, as you can see, but it's not affecting the screen a whole bunch. This is not really the best thing to do. And, uh, it's strange. Um, Hmm. See the screen like that. Now we'll see what this does. Well, that's pretty normal. It still does what it does before I modded it. And, uh, well, maybe I need to take a second 